But with us is uh, Lynette Wilson from Portlock Primary. Lynette, thanks for taking your time today. What do you teach at Portlock? Um, hello. Um, yes, I teach special education, um, LD, but I'm in an inclusion classroom, first grade inclusion classroom. Yeah. yeah. So how, is, how are you able to manage uh, this crazy time around your house? Well, actually, it has not been that crazy. Um, I'm uh, my daughter. Ha she's uh, grad. She's not home. She's married with two kids and and her husband. And so basically, I check on her on a daily basis along with my with my grandkids. But home has not been too hectic, and that is just me. Yeah. All right. Well, so that does make it a lot easier. I talked to a teacher the other day that had a has a one year old, a three year old, and a five year old at home. Oh. I can imagine, but my grandkids are in the sixth grade and the third grade, and I check on them on a regular basis, and I assist as uh, how and however I can, and they keep us busy. So yeah, I'm not sure I can manage that even without the pandemic. That's the truth. <laughs> uh, so tell me, what are you able to do? Uh, one of the teachers I talked to the other day as a librarian said that this time has been like uh, collaboration on steroids, uh, and so what's it like? How are you able to interact with your students, and and, and how are you supporting teachers? Okay. Well, actually, um, it's been awesome. It's been different because I, as an elementary teacher, you know, we love to hug. We love to give high fives. We love that connection. So when they say stay connected, it's a bit different. The physical connection is, is a bit difficult, uh, um, has been one of the challenges, I would say. But we've still been able to connect with them virtually. We do our regular Wednesday Google Meet, which uh, also, we really enjoy that. Um, start. We have a good good number of students that participate with that, and those who don't participate, we follow up with phone calls just to say, "Hey, what's going on? You know, how can we help you?" Um, I've, we've I've always been a communicator. If you hear me say "we," it's because I work with uh, another student, um, Ms. Laura Coleman, and we consider ourselves a marriage, and so we do a lot of things together. And that was a name that um, a principal, former principal, gave the sped ed teachers when she first came in she said think of yourself as, an, as a marriage when you do the inclusion model so we do a lot together we collaborate we when we do our google meet we make sure we have the visual especially need a lot of the visual and a lot of the auditory type things so we have it set up sort of like a powerpoint presentation so we're presenting as we're teaching and that has been helpful we always start off with a hook like to try to get them engaged, something that um, like last week was what, how was your mother's day? Um, this week, um, we're gonna ask the question, would you prefer to paint or would you prefer to draw? So we wanna make sure we're keeping them engaged that they have an opportunity to express themselves and to talk to each other. And just um, we do encourage them to get on earlier so that they can engage and say hi to some of their um, friends. They miss that, that they, that's, they really miss that. So that has been wonderful, having them to see each other. I know the first time they actually logged in and saw each other, it was crazy. They were like, ah, it's such and such, it's such and such. So um, that's good that we have the connection with Google Meet. Right, I know how they feel. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so what's the, I know that some of the challenge you've had to face are sort of uh, inequity in technology from one house to the other as well as everybody's home is different. You know, when you're in school, at least you're in the same place and sort of on a level playing field, but there's a lot lot of differences out there. You're, you're having to make a lot of parent contact, I imagine. Oh, absolutely. We're um, a title one school. So that, uh, tosses another set of problems with that and like you said the, um, they there are some kids I mean they try they get on but you know they're using the phone they, they don't have the computers or either there are multiple kids in the household and they have to share the soft the computers um, but they but the parents make the effort so in terms of the technology that is a challenge um, there's one um, family in particular I think he has like they're like five or six seven five or six students in that household so um, you know I one thing our principal has said let's let's be considerate of the other um, the parents and what's in the household yeah. although like I said in my household it's, it's me and my and I sit with my grandkids and we have the technology they don't have it so we know that the equity there is not always is, is a concern but uh, we, we stay in contact with phone calls, we email, um, they have our phone numbers, they know they can call us at any time, but that's the way it was even before this pandemic. So we, we develop a, a really great relationship prior to this and it's just been continuous. 
So what's the bright side? Um, you know, in every uh, challenge like this, we, there's some bright side we can find. What, did, what do you find uh, as, as a bright side or a bright spot in, in this situation? Bright side. Um, the fact that we can still stay connected. Um, I, we, I had a lesson yesterday, as a matter of fact, a guided reading lesson with one of the students, and the parent actually got a chance to see how we do guided reading. A lot of times at that level, students want, the parents want, when they're reading the book, they automatically give them the word. And we have a set of strategies that we use. We've sent the strategies home, but parents still do what they want to do. And this one, after we, when we finished with it, the parent, um, I, I did like a little wrap up with her and I said, okay, so I'm glad I was able to model this and you could see this and you could actually see the strategies. And she says, yeah, I get it now. And she, it was like an aha moment for her. So just seeing that aha moment, she had the strip at home that we sent to her where we say, okay, what do you do when you get to words you don't know? Um, you know, look at the picture, start to say it, look for chunk, look for pieces. Um, they, she wasn't necessarily doing that, but now um, that she has seen it modeled, she says that she will incorporate it more. Wow. Yeah, and um, yeah. So you're, you're teaching parents and students? Absolutely, <laughs> yes, absolutely. This is a new role for them too. Mm -hmm. I mean, having to be the teachers, it's a, it's a new role for them too. Well, Lynette, I know you are busy. Uh, I appreciate your time with us and I want you to know that uh, everybody, the parents and the people in the community are, are appreciative of all the time and effort you're putting in uh, to get the kids where they need to be. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good one. Stay well. Mm -hmm.